Okay, now we want to look at uh, the next uh, slide. That is about variables. Now to start uh, our lecture, let's look at the definition of this variable name. A variable name is a named memory location. Yesterday, for those who attended the online lecture, you, I think you saw that we declared int x like this. So we are saying this x is a memory location or it is a variable name, which we are saying now it is a memory location. So as we write the syntax int y, y it becomes the memory location or the variable name. So that is the variable name. Now let's look at the variable declaration. How do we declare this variable? So the syntax of declaring variable is int is representing the data type while the, uh, the x is representing the variable name. So that is how we declare our variable uh, our our variable so don't forget again to put a termination as well after declaring your variable so that remember we said we use the variable name normally inside the the scan f uh, command inside the brackets inside the parenthesis we can also use the variable name so now how do we declare this variable so for us to learn how to declare this variable for those without computers please make use of the link that is just below the slide here now, what are the rules of constructing these variable names? Okay, so we are saying rule number one, the variables can have any combination of 1 to 31 alphabets. So you are allowed to have up, uh, up to 31 alphabets from one. So you start from maybe you've got X as the variable name, that is one alphabetical letter, up to 31 alphabets. Or it can be have uh, digits or underscores. So we are saying, uh, you, I have given an example of prim2189 with underscores. So I have included the underscores, the alphabetical letters, as well as the digits. So you can declare that as your variable name. So in rule number two, the first character of the variable name must be an alphabetical or an underscore. So you are not, you are not allowed to uh, start with a digit. In other words, you are only uh, allowed to start with an alphabetical letter or an underscore. Rule number three, no commas or blanks are allowed within a variable name. So if you want to write, declare, you want to talk about your first program, you say int my first program. So you are not allowed to put uh, later, uh, uh, spaces in between the uh, the variable name. Then lastly, no special symbols other than an underscore can be used on a variable. In as much as you would like to use the hashtag or the percentage, it's not allowed. You are only allowed to use the underscore as a special symbol. So that is, those are the rules that we need to follow as we uh, declare our variables. Now, if we go back to the screen, you see that I can declare int my first program uh, and I'll put the underscore and I'll terminate like this. In other words, I'm simply saying this is one thing with uh, alphabetical letters with an underscore and with digits. So this is an example of uh, declaring a variable. Or you can simply say int x as the variable name. So it's up to you to decide, but make sure as you uh, declare variables, you follow all the rules that we've learned. Now, the other thing that we need to look at practically, uh, I'm not going to talk about the getcha. You're going to read this, but um, oh, I'm going to talk about the comments. Uh, just like human beings, comments are also important in C programming. I'm sure you also enjoy uh, good comments from your colleagues. So we need also to comment our program as we write it. Why do we need to uh, comment to make our code readable and also as a guiding factor uh, to our code? And of course, commenting is user-friendly. You can actually read what you are doing. So these comments are not executable. They are only written by the programmer and it is the programmer who is able to read the comments and not someone at the back end. So we are saying that uh, as you write the comments, you are simply saying, I need to do this, I need to do that. So let's just give 
Basically, we've got two types of comments. We've got the multiple line comments where we are saying, how do we write these multiple line comments? We put the forward slash and an asterisk and we close with a forward slash and an asterisk. While for the single line comment, we just put the two forward slash and that's all. Sometimes you need to write a lot of uh, quite a number of statements you make use of the multiple line comments but if it is just a single line comment you can also make use of the two forward slash uh, uh, on your program so i also use these comments to freeze my program so let's see how we use comments in c programming uh we write print f enter number and I terminate like this and I'll say scan if for those who attend the lecture yesterday I'm sure you now understand what we are doing by now and we put uh, the ampersand and I said x like this and I, I, I terminate so I will also I want to take this part again I want to put it here but this time I will say enter number two and I will say Y. But as you can see on my program, I I didn't declare the Y. So for me, I will just put an, a, maybe before uh, that, let me declare it. Okay, so I will say, I will put a single line comment like this and I will write the variable, variable variable is x and I also comment int is a data type something like this so this is a comment but if I want to put a multiple line comment I said I will put an asterisk here and of course I need to close with an asterisk and a forward slash like this so the first uh, comment is a a single line comment well the second statement is a multiple line comment so i also i want i also want to freeze my the other part of my program by making use of this uh, the forward slash and asterisk and the forward slash and asterisk like this so as you can see i've freezed uh, this part so I need to delete the declaration so that you see that the program will run because uh, Y is not declared but because I've commented that it will not run it will not affect my program so uh, as I run the program enter number it will only ask me to enter the first number but for number two we are saying it is uh, in the freezing state so the basically this is how we uh, comment our programs so uh, that is that. Thank you very much.